What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors with Chloe. There's Chloe. Um, the purpose of this video for this Saturday is kind of her take on the way the school is being run right now as far as what they're having to do because of COVID and because of some other things that happened. You know, the tornado we've talked about a couple times on this channel that we had in March. Uh, took out two of our schools, so that means they had to do a little rearranging to make things happen. So, basically, what's happened is she's having to go to the high school that she'll be going to next year as a high schooler, <laughs> but she's still considered in middle school. So, I'm going to let her tell you about how our schedule kind of works and that kind of stuff, and we'll go from there. Well, thanks, Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> so... Um, they have at the high school because there are ninth through 12th graders they don't want the middle schoolers like mixing with them so they have one wing with three floors sectioned off for us so it's a lot of up and down the stairs for your classes because science and math are on the third floor social studies is the second and then all reading and most exploratory classes are on the first floor so for me I we get there on the bus and we go in and they do temperature checks first thing before you even get to go to your class or anything to make sure you don't have a like fever or anything and then you go off to your first block and they do a set of I think it's five COVID questions to ask if you have symptoms and you just say yes or no and if you say yes to any of them they isolate you in the classroom you're in in a separate desk now, when you talk about isolating you in the classroom, how are you sitting versus everybody else? You're like in the corner. And everybody else, since there's low numbers in the classes, um, they have everybody else every other seat anyways. And if I had my phone out here, I could tell you the numbers of each class because I counted it. <laughs> so when she says the, there's lower numbers in the classroom, um, basically half of the eighth grade go certain days of the week your schedule is tuesdays and thursdays i go in school and then the rest of the week i do online so then then um wednesday and friday is the other half and i do it by alphabet right last name yeah. last name so you got half of the kids going two days a week the other half going the other two days a week which you have a day of the week that is meant like office hours office kinda. hours teachers you know do their thing and if you need extra help you can get it online correct mm -hmm. they do like little zoom meetings at certain times for each teacher right now if you were still in your middle school you would still be doing this but because we lost two schools due to the tornado they have split the middle school the big middle school we have well the two middle schools we have here um, some of the kids go to one high school and some of the kids go to another high school and the middle school she went to last year has sixth graders but then it's also got kindergarten through fifth from one of the elementary schools that were destroyed so our COVID situation got a little more hectic because we lost a school now we opened a new school this year which was a new high school that she would be going to next year but she's going to it this year. Um, so she's kind of getting the lay of the land a year early, but she's considered a middle schooler and she's actually considered the school she was going to. So even though she's going to Green Hill High School, which is the name of the new high school, she's still considered a Mount Juliet Bear <laughs> middle and schooler. For announcements, since there are two schools, they announce all the Green Hill High School announcements over the intercom. And then our Mount Julia announcements are typed up on like a Google Doc that the teachers have to read to us in the morning. Oh wow. So they don't like split the announcements. Now okay. everybody in the county has Chromebooks now furnished by the school system, which was done by a grant, if I'm not mistaken, so that everybody would have the Chromebooks. Um, you've got your Chromebook. It's not your first rodeo. We got them in like sixth grade. Sixth grade. The first year. But her school was the only school i think in mm -hmm. the county that was working with chromebooks to begin with now everybody's working with chromebooks um 
which one of the biggest problems I had in the beginning was the servers at the main We're office. Still having this problem. And they're still having the problem. We had it today. They didn't have enough servers to cover all the kids logging on at one time. Um, and I've kind of noticed and I'm kind of wondering if our internet being slow is because of everybody loading, logging on to the computers, if it's affecting the infrastructure of the internet system itself here in the area. I don't know. I, it's just something I thought about. I thought, man, it even seemed like tonight, uh, sitting around the house, that the internet was like stupid slow for some reason. Then it would pick right back up. Erin was saying hers is doing that too. So, I don't know. But, um, explain your day-to-day -day as far as masks, that kind of thing. We have to keep our mask on every day. We can take them off in class for like a few minutes if we need to get a drink of water. Or just like need a break because we are having trouble breathing with the mask on all day. And the only time we can take them off is to eat lunch. And that's a 30 minute period, I think. And then we have to put them right back on to go to class, back to our classes and for the rest of the day. And we have to wear them on the bus as well, which is not that fun in the heat with no air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. So you don't get to take your mask off even in class. Only if we need that break to like get a drink of water or something. So they're wearing these things from the time they get on the bus to basically eat lunch and come home very sweaty by the end of the day yeah i can imagine <laughs> to put it lightly <laughs> i can imagine um so anyway i wanted to give y'all a little taste of you know and it may be different where you live it may be different for you know i, mean, I know it is it's different for everybody everybody's doing something different uh davidson county which is one county over didn't mean to cut her off yeah <laughs> uh, one county over they're virtual learning until i think I think they said until after fall break. Mm. But I may be wrong. Um, our county is going to assess it at fall break. Decide whether we need to continue on the way we're going. Um, if COVID cases go up, they could stop going to school altogether and be straight up virtual learning altogether. How do you feel the virtual learning is doing as far as are you, do you feel like you're really getting the lessons or the teaching yeah you do? because okay. i like to go at my own pace anyway so not having like a teacher like okay you have like 10 minutes to do this assignment and then we're moving on you can basically take as long as you need to right figure out what you're doing and, and that's something i've been thinking about and I've, I've talked to my wife a few times about it some kids really need that one-on-one -on -one teacher explaining things yeah. and some kids can read it and understand it and go on and some kids have to read it a couple times and then they understand it and go on I'm um, <laughs> I, i've always said you know read it once think about the question read it again think about it again and you know before you make that final answer you know really hash it out yeah. um but i'm sure there are some kids out there that are losing out on this particular type of learning um and I'm sure there are some kids, you know, and I, I don't want to step on any, oh, you shouldn't say that, but if they have learning disabilities, because I did growing up, I, I mean, I'll admit, oh, getting the battery light. I had problems growing up. I don't know how I would do with virtual learning today. I really don't. Um, matter of fact, I don't know how my oldest would have done. Uh, she oh, she had yeah. learning issues too growing up as a kid. So, I don't know. Um I'm going to have to wrap it up because the battery's dying. and <laughs> We just want to give you a little taste of what it's like to go to school today. And think about when you went to school, if this had happened to, to you in your time era. All right, guys, that's it for now. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye. Bye. <laughs>